chill, I'm still going, I'm still going. Yo, my beautiful people, welcome back to another video on my channel. And today we'll be teaching you guys how to jump to seat whilst wheeling. We've got my Nike C100 out here. Yeah, if you guys are subscribed, you guys know what bike that is. If you guys are not subscribed already, get down below, hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure your notification on so you can get notified every time a new YouTube video is uploaded. But yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into the first step by teaching you guys how to jump to seat. So the first step on learning how to jump to seat is the manual and your foot placement. So if you guys know how to like, say do a knee knock already, or like whatever way you feel more comfortable, like, I don't know how to say this. If you, li if you lift up with the right foot, say if you wheelie and you pull up with the right foot, you're gonna wanna have your left foot in front, like that. It might feel weird, because halves, he jumped with his right foot in front and it's like, like it's way harder. Like, if I could go back in time, I would jump with my left foot forward because when it comes to landing it, it's gonna be way easier. You won't have to actually drop down to the pe um, pedals. But, um, little disclaimer, real quick thing. See that spot? Let's get close, let's get close to the spot. Don't pre the spot. I don't want you guys roasting me in the comments, but, oh, the spot, you're Yeah, don't roast me on the spot. And also, my hub sounds a bit different. Don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but it is different. But yeah, first step is learning the manual and foot placement. So if you guys do not know how to manual already, um, get to know. So basically how you guys manual is, you're gonna have your bike at a balance point. It's feathering your brake a little bit to just keep your balance. I'm not going too far back, I'm not too far forward. And manualing is a very good skill to learn. Especially when you're doing combos, because if you guys follow me on Instagram, when I'm doing combos, literally I'm at my balance point just chilling like with a brick. But yeah, first step, you're gonna wanna learn how to manual. Just fetch your break and chill. I wanna show you guys how to place your foot and how to manual right now. Left foot and then manual. Left foot and Manual like that and chill. And literally, make sure you guys follow that step. Once you guys can manual like that with your correct foot in front, then it's moving on to the jump. The jump bit is pretty important. So, guys, how you guys actually jump to the seat is you just gotta send it to be honest. It's got no no way your no way your seat is on the bike. Even put your back up on the wall and just jump to it. So literally just jump to the seat and then like that. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you guys the jump to see a bit now. When you jump, you do not want to pressure brake because this will happen. That's gonna happen. And also, make sure you do not hesitate. Because if you hesitate, it's just gonna end bad. You're gonna end up smacking your bum on the seat. Like, Say if you don't ride bikes, yeah, and like you don't do crazy things, like you never really hit your balls on the seat or anything. Like it's literally always your bum. But yeah, guys, don't hesitate when you jump. Make sure you use little brake when you're jumping. And yeah, I think that's step two. Let's get straight to the third step. So guys, that's the second step complete. Let's move straight to the third step. So guys, the first step on learning how to jump to seat is keeping it up while you're on the seat because. You don't want to just jump and then drop straight away. You're going to want to keep it up a bit. What I mean by keeping it up, like, if you guys already know how to frame stand, you go like that to keep it up, like that. But you're going to want to do that, but on the seat. So, you're going to like kick your leg back. So, you can basically keep the wall up. And then you're going to want to land it because landing it is just going to be easy if you guys got the first step on lock when I told you about the f um, Foot being forward. I'm just gonna tell you guys again, just in case you guys did not get it back there. Yeah, basically, if you guys lifting up, are lifting up with a right foot, you're gonna want to have your left foot in front. If you guys are lifting up with a left foot, you're gonna want to have your right foot in front because when I get to step four, learning landing it, it's gonna be way easier. Trust me. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by kicking back and keeping the wheel up right now. Okay, like that. 
You guys can do that and you guys can keep the wheel up in the air for like a little bit, like say one to two seconds, keep the wheel up in the air with you in the seat. Then it's time for you guys to land it. If you guys have a geared bike, you're gonna wanna stay in like, not a light gear, but not a heavy gear. So guys, how you land the seat stand is very important. You're gonna wanna have the, because your pedal's gonna be in front, and if you're landing a combo with your left foot, literally, you're gonna be up on the seat, you're gonna wanna come down, press down on the pedal, other foot on, and then it's got to do it like a motion. Once you guys get out there and you guys can do the first three steps, four steps will be easy. Literally, all you got to do is go down, land it. And this is why you don't want to be too much of a light gear because your pedal will spin around faster and you won't be able to get your right foot on in time. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys what landing it looks like right now. Go guys. Literally, jump. Oh, that's so Scrap that. Gear 6 is actually not too good of a gear. Let's go into gear higher. Yeah. Gear 7. Bang. And then. Oh! Just like that. Just like that. And if I look like a bit of a worm right now, because my brake is not aligned and well i rode it like a week so guys that has been how to jump your seat if this helped you go down below hit the like button make sure to subscribe to my channel i'll be posting on mondays and thursdays so yeah i'm gonna get a couple clips of me doing jump to seat in a couple combos but yeah i think i'm gonna end the video here now i'm gonna do the outro after i get a couple clips Jump into seat today. I don't think it necessarily likes you, yeah? but I think I might just be worming. My hub does sound magnificent. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, I think I might just have to end the video there. Worming, but yeah, guys, something's coming very soon. Very soon. All, all, all I'm gonna say is it's a tiny bike, but it's not a slow bike. That's all I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say, stay tuned. It's gonna be mad, it's gonna be mad. And also, I'm filming this on Thursday. It's coming out at 8 p.m. So I'm gonna have to go inside, edit real quick, pedal back to my house, edit it real quick, post it for you guys. And on Saturday, it's gonna be Archie's Ride. So Archie's Ride video, it's gonna be out Monday. And on Thursday, I'm gonna be doing a how to true a real video. That'll be out on Thursday, but I'm probably filming on Saturday. And yeah, and also, comment down below what you guys want to learn. And I. Uh, probably will make it happen anyways guys if you guys like these how-to videos just comment down below other how-to's to do because it'll help me out a lot what you guys want to learn but yeah i think this is where today's video will be ending if you guys enjoy with like and subscribe turn notifications on and i'll catch you guys in the next video See you guys in the next video. So guys, I don't know if you guys are still here, but um, yes, I did just fall. Bike is here. Literally just fell down. But um, if you guys are here, yeah, if you guys are all supporting me watching right now, yeah, keep it between us, alright? Don't tell anyone.